Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, channel Crafting with Holly. This is week three of December, and I am here to share with you another piece of artwork featuring the Christmas snow globes. And I hope that you've grabbed this, but if you haven't yet, don't forget our VIPs. You can get a discount on the stamp set with Thin Cuts. I believe it comes out to $16.95. Um, you're gonna get the stamp set for free and you're just paying for those thin cuts. And then if you're not a VIP, you can get the stamp set with the thin cuts at a discount. I wanna say it's $22.95. So $5 off the original retail. And what a great set this is. I've been having so much fun with it. Don't forget this catalog retires at the end of this month. So please check my website before you place your orders because you wanna make sure that the items that you're looking for are still available. We just finished up with the Silver Bells Palooza at the beginning of this month. There are quite a few products that are still available in this collection and we'll put you into that group so that you can learn from Dana, Tina, and myself. Evergreen is going to be at the beginning of January so you can grab those supplies. There is a list in my Crafting with Holly Facebook group um, the different projects that Dana, Tina, and myself are going to be doing. So you're gonna to wanna to take a look at that post and grab your supplies so that you can come and join us. We'd love to have you. And there's quite a few things that are retiring in this catalog already, so please check my website, like I just said, before you place your orders. Um, there's just a few of these left with the thin cut, but you can still get the stamp set um, through December 31st, you're just not going to get that shape to cut out all of those various national parks. So, so many wonderful things in this catalog and I had so much fun playing with the stamp of the month and creating some new projects. So go back and watch video number one from this month. It's a completely different project than what I'm showing you today. Uh, last week I shared with you how to make this card. Today I'm gonna walk you through how to make this fun fold card. And next week, I'm gonna walk you through how to make this double Z. And then at the end of the month, I'm gonna walk you through how to make the layout. So let's go ahead and get started with this card. We're gonna start with the base and I'm gonna walk you through how to cut out the thin cut from these two layers. So the first piece is the piece that I embossed and then I'm laying it on top of the card front. That's the thin cut and I'm using some of our masking tape and I'm gonna just tape it in two sides so that when I'm running it through my die cut machine, it does not move. And it's important that it's center and exactly where you want it. So then you're gonna pull off that piece. You'll have that piece that you're gonna stamp the image in, and then these are the markers that I used. And then we're gonna start assembling the card next. So I've got the inside panel now that I'm attaching, and all of this information is in the cutting guide, so you'll know what this is. And I'm just making sure that everything is lined up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take that embossed panel and put that on the very top. And I'm just moving the adhesive out of the way. Got a little too much adhesive on there. You definitely wanna make sure you have enough on there just to secure it down. And then I'm gonna take the pattern paper and attach those on the outside. And I love this evergreen paper, it's so pretty. And the embossing folder that I used is no longer available, but you can use any embossing folder truly to emboss that white daisy piece. And then these are just a quarter of an inch or eighth of an inch pieces of gold glitter paper. And then I'm gonna go ahead and see where I wanna place that thin cut and use some adhesive to secure it down and I'm only attaching it on the area where I want it to stay secure so that it has that ability to open and close freely and not be 100% tacked down on all sides. And then I forgot to put the evergreen piece on the inside so I'm gonna go ahead and attach that and then we'll go ahead and line that up again and see exactly where we want that globe to go and you'll notice that I'm only putting adhesive on the right side of it, and that way it can open freely. And now I'm gonna use this really cute Warmest Greetings card front, and I'm using that Scallops Thin Cut, which I absolutely love, you guys, and the Warmest Greetings. And I cut that out of the Ever, or the Pine, 
uh, cardstock. And then I cut a coordinating banner piece to go on the front of it so that my sentiment would stand out a little bit. And I just thought that looked really nice. And I'm using foam tape to pop it up. And it's just a great accent right here on the front of the card. And this set is still available. So if you haven't grabbed it yet, I would encourage you just for that thin cut and that nice narrow um, banner. So now we're gonna just take some pieces of pattern paper that I've dovetailed, and we're going to just add a nice accent on the inside of the card. So I'm just lining this up so that the banner doesn't go all the way through, and then I'm just scoring it with the card front. And I, I didn't get it lined up perfectly, so I'm having to lift it up a little bit. That's the beauty of you guys watching me do these, is you get to see all my mistakes so that you learn from them. And then again, I'm just scoring that again, and then trimming it off with my scissors. And then we're gonna use some gold glitter paper to accent underneath it. And again, I've taken the gold glitter paper and dovetailed it, and I'm just putting some adhesive on it and it's gonna go directly underneath. And again, the same thing, just line it up, have it be a little bit longer than that pattern paper. And I just thought that that gold was a beautiful accent on the inside as well. And we're just trimming that off. And that's all there is to it. And now you have another beautiful card using that December stamp of the month. And I hope that you enjoyed learning something new, um, taking these thin cuts and using them to cut through your cardstock and creating a beautiful interactive element. Thanks for joining me.